صباح الخير طلاب the uh, today lecture is talking about the very important process in the medicine field is called a gluconeogenesis okay <coughs> uh, now let us start with uh, biomedical importance for the for this process uh, which is very important inside the human body <coughs> uh, what does it mean uh, uh, gluconeogenesis in the biomedical importance okay gluconeogenesis <coughs> is uh, yeah w what does it mean gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis uh, its term uh, explains the uh, all the pathways uh, responsible for the converting uh, non-carbohydrate precursors to glucose or glycogen. Basically, uh, formation of the glucose from other carbohydrate source. We know glucose <coughs> or glycogen is coming from the carbohydrate source. For an instance, uh, glucose from the diet, from the carbohydrate in the diet. The other source is um, from the storage glycogen therefore gluconeogenesis uh, synthesis uh, 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 converting sorry converting not synthesis converting another uh, uh, non-carbohydrate uh, uh, precursors to glucose which is a storage as a, a glycogen in the uh, uh, liver okay gluconeogenesis meets the needs of the body for glucose when carbohydrate is not available in sufficient amounts from diet or glycogen uh, reserve yeah it's very clear uh, this process uh, <coughs> uh, can we uh, see this process when we don't have enough amount of the uh, carbohydrate uh, or glucose uh, uh, inside the human Body. We don't have amount of the uh, 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 glucose uh, from the diet, GI system, or storage form, glycogen. Therefore, this process is occurred during two cases. First, <coughs> during fasting or starvation. Yeah, fasting or starvation, we don't have enough amount of the carbohydrate in the uh, stomach. Uh, reaching for uh, depletion of the uh, storage form of the carbohydrate as a glycogen. Generally, we don't have enough amount of this compound. Second, somebody uh, with diabetes, but he hasn't treated with uh, his medicine. Therefore, we don't have enough amount of the uh, glucose inside the cell why because all the glucose it is outside the cell in the bloodstream we are talking ab about the carbohydrate inside the cell sufficient amount inside the cell in this case a person with diabetes mellitus and without treatment uh, all the glucose uh, is outside the cell in the bloodstream therefore there is deficiency in the glucose inside the cell okay now uh, basically gluconeogenesis is the conversion of the uh, non-carbohydrate uh, sources to uh, glucose the question very important question what's the major substrate for the gluconeogenesis to convert them to uh, a glucose uh, we have more than there is more than one uh, source uh, for an instance a glucogenic amino acids <coughs> what does it mean a glucogenic amino acids for an instance uh, alanine glutamic acid aspartic acid serine in addition to uh, cysteine yeah this type of amino acids are converting to pyruvate or one of the intermediates of the citric acid cycle يعني واحد من المركبات الوسطية اللي بالسيتريك أسيد سايكل أو الكريبس سايكل okay now glucogenic 
the glucogenic amino acid is converting to the pyruvate or one of the intermediates of the uh, citric acid cycle so amino acids second lactate third glycerol and propionate propionate is out the scope of of our lecture now we've got amino acids uh, lactate glycerol and propionate all these are considered as a substrate for the gluconeogenesis to convert them to glucose okay what is the main sites inside the human body to see the gluconeogenesis of course the main uh, uh, tissues are inside the liver on kidney now liver and kidney are the major gluconeogenic tissues okay uh, failure of the gluconeogenesis is usually fatal now gluconeogenesis is very important process uh, parallel for the glycolysis or pentose phosphate pathway leads to death for instance hypoglycemia hypoglycemia causes brain dysfunction which can lead to coma or death therefore the relationship between the glycolysis pentose phosphate pathway and gluconeogenesis especially between glycolysis and gluconeogenesis because gluconeogenesis and glycolysis is opposite processes one each other okay and must be regulated uh, uh, very precisely okay uh, therefore it is very important process and lead to death if there is a failure uh, uh, of the gluconeogenesis especially whereas we don't have uh, some enzymes or cofactor coenzyme and yani minerals methylene or enzymes we don't have these enzymes of minerals which activate the uh, enzymes very important or play important uh, role in the gluconeogenesis by this way it will happen failure for the gluconeogenesis lead to coma or death uh, sometimes okay uh, glucose as we uh, 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 we are speaking about the carbohydrate. Glucose is also important in maintaining the level of intermediates of the citric acid cycle, even when fatty acids are the main source of acetyl CoA in the tissues. Therefore, have a look for the uh, 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 relationship between the glucose and the gluconeogenesis. Here, glucose is very important as a, a source to maintain this. To maintain the level of intermediate compound, high molecular weight of the citric acid cycle, the glucose. Therefore, sometimes fatty acid as a as a, a, a non-carbohydrate source for the a glucose by the gluconeogenesis can be considered as a source for the synthesis of the acetyl CoA in the tissues. Acetyl CoA very important in the citric acid cycle. Okay. And in addition to that, gluconeogenesis clears lactate produced by the muscle and erythrocytes and glycerol produced by the adipose tissue. Now, gluconeogenesis, another function for this process, this could be considered as a scavenger, could be considered as a scavenger, a scavenger to remove the lactate produced by the muscle and the erythrocytes in addition to glycerol produced by the adipose tissue that means in addition to uh, uh, could be considered as an energy source from another uh, compound non-carbohydrate it could be considered as uh, a scavenger to remove the lactate and uh, glycerol okay Generally, gluconeogenesis is opposite process for the glycolysis. So, they must be regulated reciprocally. Must be regulated reciprocally. Okay. Generally, three mechanisms are responsible for the regulating the activity of the enzyme in the carbohydrate metabolism. Now, we've got three mechanisms to control the carbohydrate metabolism which has 
strong relationship with uh, uh, gluconeogenesis as for the glycolysis or pentose phosphate pathway. Three mechanisms. First, changes in the rate of enzyme synthesis. This is one of the important parameters or factors effect on the effect on the carbohydrate metabolism then on the gluconeogenesis. Therefore, concentration of the enzyme, how much is a very effective factor effect on the uh, carbohydrate metabolism or uh, this process of gluconeogenesis. Okay? Increase or decrease the enzymes because we have, uh, there is a lot of enzymes uh, <coughs> involved in the glycolysis or gluconeogenesis. Second, covalent modification by reversible phosphorylation. There is a lot of phosphorylation steps in the glycolysis of gluconeogenesis in addition to other uh, uh, mechanism, uh, processes inside the human body or in the biochemistry, biochemistry field inside the human body. Phosphorylation steps is very important. Therefore, play very important important role in the carbohydrate metabolism. Absolutely modification. Third, allosteric enzyme. There is a lot of allosteric enzymes uh, 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 shared or uh, play important role in the gluconeogenesis or glycolysis. Therefore, we know allosteric, what does it mean allosteric enzyme? Enzyme has two sides, one of them to activation of the enzyme, on the other to inhibition of the enzyme. Therefore, uh, uh, in addition to that, there is a lot of factors play as a cofactor or coenzyme. For the enzyme, coenzyme. Some of them activation of the enzyme, and some of them uh, and, and make, make, make uh, or do inhibition for the enzyme. Therefore, how many allosteric enzymes uh, play an important role in the, for instance, gluconeogenesis? Uh, and how many uh, parameters affect as a coenzyme effect o on this enzyme? Some of these uh, parameters lead to increase the activity. Some of this decrease. For instance, um, enzyme in the gluconeogenesis. If there is parameter effect positively on this enzyme, absolutely this process will be increased uh, on the or if there is um, in, uh, uh, parameters effect negatively or negatively on the uh, some certain allosteric enzyme in the gluconeogenesis if absolutely the process will be decreased therefore three uh, uh, mechanism uh, effect on the uh, 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 generally carbohydrate metabolism now let us start with the gluconeogenesis. Uh, first, uh, we can't say there is a three non-equilibrium reactions catalyzed by three enzymes, hexokinase, phosphofructokinase, and pyruvate kinase, prevent uh, 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 reversible of glycolysis for glucose synthesis. يعني تمنع رجوع لglycolysis تحل إلى glucose synthesis. Okay, three. Uh, uh, reactions. Let us start three reactions controlled by three enzymes. Okay. Let us start with pyruvate kinase. Okay. The synthesis of the pyruvate from the phosphoenol pyruvate. Pyruvate from the phosphoenol pyruvate in the presence of pyruvate kinase. This is pyruvate kinase and absolutely ADP transfer to ATP. This enzyme is a reversible, re or this step is a reversible reaction. Have a look. This is one of the uh, steps in the citric acid cycle, and it's very important in, in the glycolysis. Okay. Transfer phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate in the presence of pyruvate kinase is a reversible reaction. Therefore, the conversion of phosphoenol to pyruvate needs two steps. Now, now gluconeogenesis, in the gluconeogenesis, we need to uh, conversion or transfer the phosphoenol to pyruvate, phosphoenol to pyruvate, and pyruvate enter in the normal steps of the uh, 
uh, strict acid cycle. But this is this step is the, the opposite step. The opposite for this step is in the, one of the important steps in the gluconeogenesis. Okay. Therefore, we need to opposite this reaction, and this reaction is irreversible. Therefore, it is little bit difficult. We need uh, we need here conversion of the pyruvate or uh, uh, to oxaloacetate reacting with carbon dioxide and ATP in the presence of pyruvate carboxylate enzyme, allosteric enzyme. Okay. Now, to uh, make uh, opposite, to make this reaction opposite side by this side from the pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate, we need to conversion first before transfer the pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate we need to convert the pyruvate to to oxaloacetate by reacting with carbon dioxide in the presence of one unit of the energy source atp adenosine triphosphate in the presence of the enzyme pyruvate carboxylate uh, carboxylase enzyme this enzyme is allosteric enzyme and uh, i said one of the important mechanism to control the carbohydrate metabolism, uh, uh, controlling the elastic enzyme by the parameters effect on this enzyme. Sometimes increase, sometimes decrease the activity of the enzyme. Anyway, we need to transfer the spirovate to oxaloacetate, then, then oxaloacetate to uh, uh, phosphoenol pyruvate. This step uh, is called one of the important uh, steps in the gluconeogenesis because pyruvate sometimes coming from non-carbohydrate source for an instant uh, lactate lactate is transferred to pyruvate then pyruvate to oxalate then oxa oxaloacetate then oxaloacetate to phosphoenol pyruvate and the process uh, will continue normally in the citric acid cycle okay therefore we can see this reaction uh, uh, pyruvate CH3 C double point or COH plus carbon dioxide in the presence one mole of the ATP units with the presence pyruvate carboxylase the result is oxaloacetate plus adenosine diphosphate and uh, pyruvate inorganic pyruvate this is the first step first step uh, second conversion of oxaloacetate to phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate absolutely reacting with a GTP uh, when you try phosphate in the presence of phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase enzyme have a look for this uh, reaction oxaloacetate plus GTP in the presence of phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase the result is uh, pyruvate plus carbon dioxide uh, plus GDP plus GDP okay therefore the two steps tend to conversion of the pyruvate to Phosphoenol pyruvate. Sorry, this the, this must be uh, must be converted to phosphoenol pyruvate. Conversion of oxaloacetate to phosphoenol pyruvate. Sorry, here must be phosphoenol pyruvate. There is a mistake or a shortage uh, where phosphoenol pyruvate plus CO2 plus G. Now we've got phosphoenol pyruvate and. Therefore, the two steps tend to conversion of the pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate. Here must be phosphoenol pyruvate. Then to glucose or glycogen. Okay? Then to glucose or glycogen. Now, the important things here, the, the reaction is uh, happening inside the, uh, inside the, the, uh, in the mitochondria. The problem in the above reaction is the formed oxaloacetate cannot pass the inner mitochondrial membrane. Yani, how the oxaloacetate is going to go in the mitochondria? 
cannot pass the mitochondrial or inner mitochondrial membrane. And the conversion of this compound to phosphoenol pyruvate must be in the cytoplasm. يعني إحنا تحويل الفوسفا ال 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 تحويل هذا المركب للفوسفوينول بيروفيت اللي هو الأوكسيدات يحدث وين في السيتوبلازم. Therefore, there is a special shuttle يعني وصلة that help to pass the compound across the inner mitochondrial membrane to cytoplasm, whereas the conversion of the oxaloacetate to phosphoenol pyruvate. These shuttles are Malet shuttle, stretch shuttle, yani synthesis of the oxaloacetate inside the mitochondria. And this compound, oxaloacetate, cannot pass the inner mitochondrial membrane to outside, to cytoplasm. Why to cytoplasm? Because the conversion of the oxaloacetate to phosphoenol pyruvate, uh, it happens inside the cytoplasm. Therefore, uh, there is a special shuttle. Uh, uh, to come to pass the oxaloacetate from the inner mitochondrial membrane to the site of the cytoplasm. And this shuttles, we've got more than one shuttle. Mallet shuttle, second, straight cleaving enzyme shuttle. And the third mechanism is aspartate glutamate transaminase. Aspartate glutamate transaminase. By these, uh, uh, these shuttles, Oxaloacetate can be uh, pass the inner mitochondrial membrane to cytoplasm, then transfer to phosphoenol pyruvate, and phosphoenol pyruvate can uh, 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 converted can be converted then to glucose or uh, glycogen as a storage form. Okay. Finally, final uh, uh, page. I have cut. Uh, just this sector from the general just this sector from the general uh, procedure for the gluconeogenesis and the glycolysis uh, have a look very important site this shuttle I I'm speaking about this shuttle look here mitochondria and this is in our mitochondrial membrane now Phosphoenol pyruvate transfer to pyruvate. This is very uh, in the glycolysis. This is very uh, uh, general step in the uh, metabolism of the carbohydrate. Okay. Now, pyruvate. We need to uh, uh, transfer or uh, transfer the pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate. This is very very uh, difficult at this moment. Um, pyruvate. I said. Lactate, one of the non-carbohydrate source uh, as a gluconeogenesis process to get pyruvate. Now, pyruvate inside the mitochondrial, inside the mitochondrial, uh, is uh, uh, is converted to oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate in one of the compounds in citric acid cycle, and oxaloacetate by the Mallet shuttle is transferred to Mallet shuttle. Mallet shuttle to pass the inner mitochondrial membrane outside to cytoplasm, to cyto, uh, cytosol or cytoplasm. Okay, then mallet is transferred back to the oxaloacetate in the presence of uh, uh, NAD plus and transferred to NADPH plus H. Then oxaloacetate reacting with GTP, transferring to uh, at, with the presence of enzyme phosphoenol, pyruvate, carboxy kinase, uh, releasing one molecule of the carbon dioxide and GDP diphosphate, uh, 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 resulting phosphoenol pyruvate. Now, here, this is still cannot, it's very difficult. Uh, uh, reverse, this is the pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate. Now, uh, gluconeogenesis will. Transfer, transfer the pyruvate by this uh, procedure to phosphoenol pyruvate using a lot of parameters like ATP, uh, uh, NADPH, um, MG plus 2, uh, Mallet shuttle, and two enzyme here, pyruvate carboxylase uh, to, to, to get the oxaloacetate and phosphoenol 
part of it, carboxy, uh, kinase, yeah, uh, reaching to the uh, result uh, uh, phosphoenol part of it. And this can be go back to the synthesis of the glucose. Okay, uh, this is the first uh, shuttle on first uh, one of the uh, molecules, non carbohydrate, um, is converting to. Uh, carbohydrate converting, converting to glucose by this mechanism by this procedure okay um, the uh, next uh, uh, lecture uh, I'm going to explain another example for instance uh, uh, fatty acids is converting to stress or another molecules like amino acids is converting to uh, glucose as non carbohydrate so okay until this moment, uh, the lecture has been finished. And uh, thank you so much for your listening. And uh, don't be hesitate if you have any question. Just send me uh, a message in the classroom, and I'll be very happy to answer you. Okay, brilliant. Bye bye.